Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about basement floor sealer. Which one to use and how do you apply it? Now you guys know, sometimes when you walk down in your basement, you have that musty, kind of damp smell to your basement. Or maybe your concrete floor is a little chalky or you see that white powdery substance on it. Well, this is the video you're going to want to watch. So stay tuned for the end of the video so you can find out what I recommend to use for a floor sealer to help get rid of all those problems. Now if you're new to this channel, if you haven't watched me before, my name's Mike Day. I own this website, everythingaboutconcrete.com, and I also own Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated. And we specialize in all kinds of things to do with concrete, especially concrete flat work. So if you haven't subscribed already, go, go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell notification. I'm coming out with two to three videos a week about all kinds of things to do with concrete. So all right, let, let's get going. Basement floor sealer, what to use and how to do it. Well, what's the best basement floor sealer to use? Well, I'm gonna get to that in a minute. But first, that as you can see, that's me right there spraying some sealer on a basement floor to help keep it from being damp and keeping it dry. But first, let's talk about why you should seal your basement floor. Well, applying a, a basement floor sealer does a few things. It helps protect your basement from the harmful effects of moisture, vapor, radon gas, mold, and mildew. Now, concrete, normally, it's, it's very porous. So, you know, when you pour a concrete floor, it's got a lot of water in it. And that water, most of that water is going to evaporate in order for that concrete to get hard. So when it evaporates, it what it does is it makes a, a pore structure in the concrete or a capillary structure, kind of like kind of like miniature veins, like you can see right here. And what that does is those pores, those pores for one thing, they're smaller than a piece of hair, but they're large enough to let water molecules, uh, water vapor, and gases flow easily right through them. And and how they do that is. Usually in your basement, in your house, you know, there's, it, you have a lot lower pressure than underneath your basement floor in the, in the sub base or in the ground or the dirt below it. You usually have higher pressure there and you have lower pressure above it in the basement. And that lower pressure will draw that moisture or those gases right up through the concrete, through that capillary structure. So somehow you got to block those capillaries and block those pores to keep that moisture vapor from coming up through. And again, those, those, that moisture can cause those mold and musty odors in the basements. Um, it can let radon gas come up through, which I think most of you know is pretty bad. And it also, like we talked about before, it, it makes that dusty kind of powdery substance on the surface of your concrete that you just can never seem to get clean. So, this sealer will help reduce or get rid of all that also. Once the, like I said, once the concrete's properly sealed, this should eliminate all those types of issues. So what I like, what I like to use is radon seals, concrete sealer. And as you can see here, this is, this is untreated concrete and you can see everything kind of penetrating through the concrete. Then over here on this side, once you seal the concrete, this is good for walls also, it blocks all that stuff from getting through the concrete. So it's, it's a deep penetrating silicate based concrete sealer. And these sealers work by being absorbed down into the porous concrete. It penetrates deep below the surface up to about four inches into the concrete and chemically reacts with the concrete, expanding and blocking all the pores and capillaries. This expanded gel kind of fills the pores in the hairline cracks in the concrete, turning the concrete into a solid mass. So it basically waterproofs the concrete and it doesn't let anything pass through it or soak into it. The process keeps moisture vapor and radon gas from migrating up through the concrete from the sub subgrade below. This sealer, it dries really quickly and it dries invisible too. So it doesn't leave a film or a skin on the surface of the concrete. It soaks down into it 
penetrates, dries, and then that's it. You don't have to you don't have to seal it again. So the sealer I recommend using, what I use is Radon Seals Deep Penetrating Concrete Sealer. Again, that's what I'm using up here. So I I got it. I just put it in this pump-up sprayer. And we're just spraying on a nice film of sealer on this basement floor. And we usually put two applications on. How easy is this stuff to apply? Well, you can see I'm just using a pump-up sprayer. Uh, so it's pr pretty easy. I mean, the concrete has to be dry. It has to be bare and clean. There can't be any old paint, any old sealers or glue or mastic, oil or grease on the concrete. If there is, then you got to clean all that stuff off before using the sealer. But when you're ready, it's basically three steps here. The first thing you have to do is you want to just slightly damp the concrete with water first. So you can do that a couple ways. You can put some water in that pump up sprayer and just mist some on the concrete and dampen it a little bit just to darken it. You don't want any puddles or any standing water. Or you could just use a a damp microfiber mop and go over the surface just to dampen it. And what that does is it it helps break the surface tension on the concrete and it helps the sealer get absorbed into the concrete better. So just dampen it first. Once you do that, immediately after you do you do that, then you're going to spray that radon seal sealer a nice even film and making sure you don't leave any puddles behind right onto the surface of the concrete and let it soak in. If you see there's some puddles left behind, you can just walk back out on it and spread them out with a just a push broom or even a, you could have a nine inch roller there with you, a paint roller, and just kind of smooth them out with a roller, but you just don't want to leave any puddles. And again, it's okay to walk on this stuff even when it's wet. Then about 15 to 30 minutes after you put down that first application, you're gonna to want to spray a second one. So again, depending on how porous your concrete is, will depend on how quickly after you put the second application down. If it's, a, if it's drying out a little faster, then once you apply that first one on, if you can walk right back over where you started, you can start applying the second one. Um, but two coats is what you're gonna wanna do. And if you have really porous concrete, if you got like really old concrete, or maybe you have really old porous concrete walls, then you could even put a third coating on in those areas if you see it's just, still keeps absorbing down into now I got a I got a little video here if you want to I'll put a link down in the description so you can get to this web page but you could watch me spray in some radon seal on these concrete walls and just see how easy it is now how much will you need to put on your basement floor well again the coverage is going to depend on how porous the concrete is but in most applications if uh, about 800 to a thousand square foot floor you're going to need one five gallon bucket for that. So that's about 400 square feet a gallon. And, and remember, you're going to put down two coats of that. So five gallons will cover about 800 to 1,000 square feet. Now, can you paint your basement floor after doing this? Yes, definitely, you can. Um, what you're going to want to do is about two to three hours after you put your, put your two coats on, you're going to want to go down there and just rinse off the surface just to make sure there's no residue left behind of the sealer. Now, 99% of it's probably going to soak in and you won't, it won't be a residue on there. But if some places did go on a little thicker, then you just want to make sure there's no residue on there because, you know, your paint won't stick very good in those areas. So just, just rinse it off with a mop. You can wet vac, dry it up real quick if you want. Um, that would be the best thing to do. So in conclusion, if you have a damp, musty smelling basement, I would highly recommend using this Radon Seal sealer. Um, I use it, so I would recommend using it. The sealer is going to waterproof the concrete. It's going to reduce humidity by restricting any moisture vapor transmission up through the concrete. It's going to help stop mildew and mold growth in your basement, on the floor, or on anything that's in the basement. It's going to prevent gases from infiltrating your basement, specifically radon. And again, it's going to help stop or reduce efflorescence, which is that white powdery stuff. And like I said before, the sealer won't change the appearance of the concrete. It won't peel or wear off, and you never have to reapply it again. This is permanent protection for the basement floor. 
So I'll leave a link down in the description. You can get to this web page if you want. If you want to buy this sealer, you can check it out here. Um, again, it's real easy to apply. It'll they'll ship it. Radon Seal will ship it right to your home. So you just put it in this pump up sprayer here, pump it up, and spray out a real nice, easy, fine mist on the concrete floor. Um, again, if you like this video, go down there and hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, go down there and hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And I'll leave any links you need to get to this sealer down in the description. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate you watching. Have a good day.